Hi, this is Andrew Klein, uh, Autodesk Certified Instructor for Maya, uh, also uh, instructor at the Art Institute of California, San Francisco. This is a demo which is going to cover building a foot. Uh, as you see so far, I've inserted several image planes into uh, Maya, and I've aligned them properly. We have uh, images of a foot from the top and the side. I've also inserted images of a tibia and fibula, the bones of the leg, uh, into the front view, which is going to help me align up my leg. Uh, I'm going to actually start building here with the foot, and my primary method is actually building out a stirrup first. I'm going to select these two edges on the front side and extrude downwards uh, right over the first ankle. Uh, now this will be the inside ankle, and as you see here, based on the bone, uh, we actually have a, a different position of the ankle between the inside and the outside, uh, the medial and lateral sides of the ankle. So when I extrude down these edges uh, to make new faces for the left side, notice how I'm going to pull them down further here uh, to meet up with the fibula, which uh, ends up meeting lower down. And this is the configuration that you should get. Uh, by moving these vertices up, I'll try and make a little rounded cup shape uh, to match up the uh, position with uh, what was going on with the ankles. Then I'm going to use the pen polygon tool, as you see here, to really uh, finish that off, like I said, making a stirrup. With the Insert Edge Loop tool, I'll insert an edge loop and scale it, move it down so it fits the position on the bottom of the foot. I'll just make sure my vertices here are even up with that bottom edge. Let's use the Insert Edge Loop tool again to do this. Um, same thing as before. One of the things you'll notice about me in this tutorial is I have a custom shelf uh, running uh, at the top of the screen currently uh, with commonly used tools such as the Create Polygon tool, uh, the Append Polygon tool, Insert Edge Loop tool, Select Edge Loop, Select Border Edge, uh, Extrude Face, and things like that. Uh, and I'll be going there mostly instead of the uh, normal locations up in the menus just to save some time. Now as I'm manipulating this section, notice I pulled this stirrup down uh, and one of the things I like about the stirrup is that it gives me the ability to uh, then separately extrude out a face later on, uh, or a set of faces later on to fill up the back. Uh, what I've made sure that I've done right now is I'm trying to match up the uh, face count on the top coming down from the leg with what I have on the bottom so that this will hopefully seam up pretty nicely. Let's just move that out with soft and normals, delete my history, uh, and that's the first step.